hey all uh, we'll see how to install uh, Red Hat Enterprise Linux uh, version 7 on uh, VirtualBox in this class so let me open VirtualBox so you can install any OS in VirtualBox so let us install let us see how to install Linux so first we should create a new virtual machine so you can uh, give some name I want to give uh, RHL 5 because I'm having already 4 RHL machines in this virtual box and let us go to it. Okay. Based on your name, it is selecting the name uh, and the bit automatically. It took the bit based on uh, my uh, hardware configuration on my laptop. So you can go ahead uh, with these default names. And uh, yeah, I offer. OS in VirtualBox uh, 1 GB uh, RAM is sufficient so I am uh, going ahead uh, with this uh, 1024 MB settings for the RAM and create a virtual hard disk um, I want to select well uh, I want to create a new virtual hard disk uh, if you want to use existing hard disk you can select these options and select the existing hard disk but I want to create a new virtual hard disk so I am selecting this create a virtual hard disk now create and I want to go with a VDI uh, disk image I want to have a fixer size because dynamical if you select dynamically allocated it could give some performance issues so I want to go with fixer size and I want to go with a uh, 20 GB size so I am selecting uh, 20 GB and after click on create uh, it will start creating generally creating of hard disk it will take around uh, maybe 15 minutes or maybe sometimes uh, depending on the performance laptop performance it may take 30 minutes as well so let me click on create If it takes long time, I, I may cut uh, this uh, wastage of uh, time. So, virtual hard disk is created, and yep. Uh, so, just in virtual, oh, just a moment. So just a virtual uh, machine is created and we have to install OS in that so we have just created RHEL5 and let us see its settings yeah it's with name and then storage yeah it is empty okay fine and now once you try to open it it may not open because still OS is not installed and it should have proper bootable device and in general uh, if you are installing for laptop or desktop or OS you can have uh, CDs uh, uh, provided by vendor but I am having an ISO image so I should input uh, this ISO image now this VM should uh, take uh, this as a bootable uh, device and it should start installing it so let us see how to do that let me just open it I guess it is slow I've just done double click on it. Okay, let me do right click and 
and start and the normal start. Okay. And to make sure uh, if I want to let me check the properties to make sure which drive I has to select and uh, I did cancel it can select automatically so let me uh, input the device here I need to input this RHL the RHL ISM I should input machine so I just want to make sure which drive it is configured okay, do not have any uh, drive names fine uh, so let us try to input ISO image So see here device optical device so I am selecting this RHL uh, it is taking the path automatically as uh, earlier I have installed this uh, and uh, if you want to sell go to the path you can click on uh, disk image and you can browse and then as you can select I am having image here so I am selecting this this is RHL ISO image um, uh, with ISO image uh, you can uh, install uh, operating systems ISO image uh, would be created for bootable, bootable CDs and uh, so I, I downloaded this ISO image directly from uh, Red Hat uh, website uh, you can even download as well it's, it's a free and uh, you'll get trial version uh, free from Red Hat website uh, you can uh, google it and download uh, from uh, Red Hat website so I'm selecting this and since so right now I have just selected an input device so it is showing tick mark now once I close uh, this VM and reopen it it should open uh, using that uh, ISO image so it's like in general to install OS you would be selecting first boot device right here it would act like that so once now if you if you want to start it it will uh, take that ISO image and it will uh, start installing the Linux so uh, let us see how it goes see now uh, you are seeing an option so we can uh, select an option accordingly and uh, we can install Linux so the step before this step uh, the one step which I have done is I have clicked, select, clicked on device and I have selected optical devices and then I have uh, clicked on choose disk image and I have selected a uh, disk image which I have downloaded uh, from Red Hat uh, website so after doing that uh, after selecting that I just close the VM and restarted it then it started uh, taking from ISO image and it's it's uh, going on uh, installation by itself so let me go with the first uh, required option here it is showing two options uh, the second option test this media and install a Red Hat Enterprise Linux well I have installed uh, this uh, Linux using this ISO image many times so I no need to test the image it is working fine if you want to test uh, the image uh, then you can select this test image and then you can start installation so right now we no need to test I am going with install Red Hat Enterprise Linux 7.3 version yeah.
okay and uh, here uh, there is a small uh, technique so the settings the pixel settings could not be correct so you here see I'm now I'm outside the VM see the mouse cursor I'm outside the VM so if you want to go inside the v VM uh, you need to press two buttons uh, uh, I'm using uh, uh, Dell uh, Inspiron hopefully it would be the same for all laptops I'm just uh, Okay. to go into the VM you can just double click here and now you are in the VM and now if you want to come out of VM uh, you have to use two buttons click on control and then home together so it's like control plus home so once you press control plus home you will come out of uh, VM control plus home yeah so I'm the home we need to switch uh, from laptop to VM uh, on and off so that you know uh, proceed uh, installation steps to, to go ahead with installation steps so let me go inside the VM yeah. so let me click on so I'm going ahead with default language English continue okay so the installation is already in progress and we have to complete all these selections uh, for the installation uh, to complete so let us uh, check the first option so I'm switching my control home to the VM so that I can navigate up and see right from first option so let me check with first option date and time well, I, I can go with the default time, uh, America's New York, no issues, and uh, keyboard English, yes, no, no worries, and language English, no worries. And now, installation media is already selected. Installation source. Yeah. Auto director installation media, RHL, this is one which we have uh, selected. It's already selected and yeah this is important part soft, software selection by default it will go with minimal so if you select minimal it may not uh, get GUI so uh, be careful about selecting this option uh, click on software selection and I want to go with server with GUI if you go with minimal uh, install it's okay if you are very comfortable using commands and um, and for the practice and for the learning or learning purposes you can select better you select server with GUI so that uh, you will get complete a uh, server and uh, you'll get um, GUI uh, so for learners it, it, it's uh, advantage if you have GUI so don't forget this step uh, so if you you can select as per your requirement for beginners you can select server with GUI and apart from this you can select add-ons whichever you need and in general I would be uh, requiring Java so I'm selecting Java platforms and then well uh, for the time being I'm, I'm okay with that with this but if you need uh, anything more uh, you can select uh, as per your requirement so I have selected server with Geo and the required applications done yeah. and uh, installation destination yeah we should select the hard disk which we have partitioned so let us uh, click on this and uh, select installation destination yeah device selection select device we would like to install in fact it is already selected it is with the tick mark okay okay it is uh, I'm checking it again done okay 
so right now it is doing some checks so once it has performed all the checks this begin installation uh, icon is highlighted so once we click on begin installation uh, the installation uh, will start so let me cross check so and uh, okay <clears throat> I'm sorry. I selected something else. Okay, I want to check with the host name. So here it is going with the host name like this. I want to go with the hostname as just localhost, so I am going with it. And you can choose the hostname as per your choice. Yeah. So if I verify right from first, so the main part is software selection. I have selected server with Jira. Yeah. I selected installation source and uh, installation destination. We give the hard disk uh, which we have created and um, I, select, I created some host name and uh, fine I am going with our default security policies and let, let me keep begin the installation ok so now our installation is uh, going on while the installation is running, uh, you can select your root password and uh, you can create the users. So if you did observe, I'm going out of the VM and I'm coming, uh, I'm dragging up and down and I'm selecting the appropriate buttons. And so I'm using these two buttons, Control Home. So right now I'm out of VM to go inside the VM, you can click on Control Home. I'm sorry, if you are in the VM and if you want to come out of your VM, select con click on control home. So I came out of VM and to go inside the VM, you can just do double click and go inside the VM. So let me create some root password. Okay, root password is set and let me create some user. So I have uh, configured root password and uh, created user and sent password to it. And now um, all the settings are done. Uh, we should just uh, wait till the Linux uh, get installed. So let us uh, wait for a while. It may take around uh, 15 or 20 minutes. So uh, I would be cutting this uh, installation uh, time duration. And, um, so once it is installed, uh, we'll uh, we'll perform checks and uh, we'll see um, how it uh, is installed. So let us wait uh, till it gets installed.
Yeah, uh, so the installation is complete and it is asking for a reboot. So let us reboot and perform checks. So I'm at I'm at outside the VM, I'm pressing Control Home. I'm sorry, I need to double click. So I'm double clicking, uh, I'm going inside the VM. I'm performing reboot. There are two options one is rescue and one is normal by default it is going to the normal uh, linux os okay it is asking to accept the license Let us click on this. So, accept the license. Done. <clears throat> Okay, so finish config configuration. So we have created only one user that is PAD pad. So let us log in. Okay, so here you go. So Linux OS is ready, and um, can can go to terminal from here. And seems like some few more steps it is asking. Let us perform them. So English, yeah, default it is selected, and select your keyboard layout. It is. Fine English. Okay, I want to skip this step. Yep, start using Red Hat Linux server. Fine, so we can go terminal from here. And since it is booting for the first time, it is asking something about genome. If you want, you can follow the steps. And I, I don't want to configure any genome setting right now, so I'm closing it. So from the terminal, you can go to root. Okay, I just want to perform shutdown and uh, start the OS from VirtualBox. So I'm I went to root and shutting it down. So here you can you can see here. Uh, at the bottom, uh, once OS is booted, you would find uh, another icon for OS, and this is a virtual box. So the the virtual uh, the OS is shut down. So now there is only one icon here. So this is RHEL5 is the one we have installed to boot into that uh, OS. You can double click or you can do right click and. Uh, start and do normal start so i'm just showing how to boot the device yep so uh, this is how uh, you install and um, uh, log into your os and uh, you can do more r and d uh, yourself um, thanks for watching this video Bye.